How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another video and in today's video guys We are going to be playing bus mechanic simulator. So this is a trial. I will say that um, So I'm not really sure how far I can get it's kind of like a uh, barn finders I'm, I wasn't really sure how far we could get with that one um, But we're gonna be playing bus mechanic simulator today starting a new game and I don't see how far we can get I'm not really sure uh, much about this game. It's a mechanic simulator pretty much. So I mean, you know, I'm I'm game for it. I I like to tinker around in these games and see what is possible. Hopefully this is going to be uh, as good as it looks. Um, I ran around in free roam for a minute there, uh, just like checking everything out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff kind of. So um, it looks like there's a lot more like grab tools sort of things. So it's going to be a little bit different than Car Mechanics. Or actually a lot different than Car Mechanics Sim. Not really sure um, what the similarities are, but... Looks like we'll be finding out here any minute now. All right, there we go. After about another, it's like a minute and a half of waiting, it finally kicked up. So it looks like it's just throwing us right into a job instantly. A uh, new job, bus type, um, the man, uh, Lion City 821 city bus. It's a city bus. Uh, the cabin air filter conditioning unit needs to be your cabin filter. of Oh, the cabin filter. Okay, so just the filter. All right. So I feel like this is going to be a lot like a uh, plane mechanic sim. Like that one was like you go and you accept a mission, you keep going, and then you just keep learning new and new things until they just like start throwing you um, just like whole jobs at once. I think that's what we're going to be uh, doing here. So they want us to change the cabin air filter. Should be pretty easy. And this is a uh, European. This looks like, I think this is an EU plate on the back here. Um, so I'm not quite sure. All right, very slow moving. So I love how they just immediately, right off the bat, they're just, oh my gosh. Look how many tools we got. Oh, thankfully you don't have to pick them up. So just like, okay. So right off the bat here, it just says, oh, that highlights everything. Um, I'm not really sure. So we got Q does examine, all this. Plus add changes oils and whatnot. Okay, so uh, tools. You need the spanner tool to get that open. Looks like this, so they, they might have tools by where you need them. Spanner tool. Okay, let's go grab the spanner tool. So this is the spanner tool. Uh, front box cover. Okay, we'll hold on. Spanner tool, open this up. Screen wash tank. Uh, I, have, I have no idea where this is at, actually. Oh, there, this crouch. Batteries, stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, it's hit, uh... Wait, it's hit this. So, fuel tank, heating tank. Looking for air stuff. Whoa. I, uh... Oh, I was like, I walked inside of there. Engine compartment service flap. Okay, this looks like an area that we want to be in. So, there's the radiator. It's really, really cool. There's the turbocharged line. I don't see anything, though, indicating... Nothing here indicates that it would be for cabin air filter. Exhaust system. At least it tells you what the, each one of these uh, flaps are for. Um, what is that? Heater. So the cabin air filter. I feel like the cabin air filter would just be right up here up front. Front box cover. There's no way they want you to go on the bus, you think? Maybe? Uh-oh. Nope, 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 nope. Can I just open this? Oh, right click lets you actually... Okay. So this just examines the doors. Okay, I'm sorry guys that I'm a little slow on this. I just have no... Oh, I fell down. I have no real clue um, where we want to be starting at. I don't really know where cabin air filter could be. 
All the axle stuff down here. Gearbox oil. This is super in-depth, though, guys. Holy crap. Like, this is, uh... This is some crazy stuff here. I need to figure out how to get to, like, a, uh... A repair manual or something of these sorts. Oh, that's for, like, a transmission jack? That's dope. Okay. We need to go find, like, a repair manual. I have no idea what we're doing. I don't know where... I don't know. I, I will not get anything done if I just sit here looking for stuff. Um, pretty crazy area back here. What is this? Storage. Ooh, electrical systems, batteries. This is in depth. This is really, really, really cool. They got a lathe, um, a milling machine. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Battery charging, workbench, a, a bench grinder. Wow, this is so cool. What else we got in here? Spare parts for steering, axles, front and middle, brakes. Whoa, I did not realize we had this part shop back here. Compressor unit, so like um, uh, like AC compressor stuff. Uh, don't know what the pneumatic spring is for. Gearbox stuff, exhaust pieces, fuel system. Lighting, sales, IBS, is that like, uh, I don't know what that one is for. Uh, electrical systems, engine, so it looks like, yeah. Looks like we have, I think I have exactly, re I have repair parts for every single part of, uh, yeah, every single part of this uh, bus here. Well, I didn't see a cabin air filter anywhere. I guess this is more of a doors and body panels and whatnot. More body pieces. This is so in depth. I love it. If, oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is C. So interior pieces, articulation joints for like the doors and stuff. Um, seat straps, standing straps, interior pieces. Whoa. Can't go outside. That's okay. A good old test path. You always got to have these. Yep. Test path. So testing, uh, braking, uh, like some steering components, some other things like that. Okay. Close that. Oh, what is this? Water. It's nice that you got a bunch of parts around the shop, but not everything is in like uh, one specific place where you have to go every time. Well, uh, more spots over here. Oh, my gosh. What is this? We're just water. So spare parts for the wheels. We have literal tires. Tires on tires. Interior wall paint. Air conditioning service. Oh, okay. So there's the AC like vacuum. This pulls like the vacuum to uh, recharge and refill the AC lines. Coolant collection tanks. Anything else over here? What is that? What was that? Light switch. Did I turn the lights on? Oh, I did. Okay. Okay, well, I've kind of torn apart this uh, this thing so far. Let me see some options here. Just so I can make sure I have all, all the stuff I want on that's on. Yeah, it looks like it's all on. Okay, go back. Well, <clears throat> the cabin air filter. Radiator, coolant. I think, honestly, guys, I just got to dive in just head first and see what I can find here oh, okay I see so if I go to this one and I click on there's no way they want me to go up top do you think right maybe the filter is up top there and oh okay okay here let me how do I work this Wheel engaging unit. Or lift. Oh, so that'll this will lift the entire bus up. Okay, I see how they have to do it. Is there any way for me to get on top, though, and check up there? Okay, so if they won't let me get up there, they must be down here. But normally in the past, like in normal cars, because obviously I've never worked on a bus before, um... It's usually up in the front here. Panel mainboard switch. 
from box cover. Indicated parts needed. Okay, so that's a bolt. So give me, I don't know, a screwdriver? Will I take it off? Spanner or ratchet? Where's the spanner? Is this... I haven't unlocked that ratchet. What? All right, where's our spanner ratchet at? This isn't the, the ratcheting one, but hopefully it'll work. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere finally. This is a little difficult to aim this though, I will say that. Okay, it looks like we got into the radial fan. Oh, interior filter. <gasps> Was that it? Was that the part right there, guys? Uh, how do I get to end up be putting parts back in? I don't know where to do that at, though. Put that back. Um, all right, we need a cabin air filter now. Where do I get that at, though? Spare part list. Oh, I accidentally took off the, the doors. Hold on, let me... All right, let me slap those bad boys back on. Okay, so we're, okay, I can figure out a lot more stuff if I right click here. Uh, okay, um, go, I have the gold wing doors off is the issue here. Let me. There we go. I got the compression tester gone. Uh, do I have these doors still? From box cover interior. Okay, I don't think I have them, but. So, view job, the cabin filter of the air conditioning needs to be replaced. That is not good. Oh, I can click it to see where it is. Okay, I found it though. I did I did get it though. Okay. So, I got it. And then spare part list. How do I inventory? So this, I have this unit right here. Can I repair it somewhere? How do I, how do I fix it? That's what we're trying to figure out now. Get this stuff out of my inventory. All right. All right, where's the coolant side, boys? Tell me what the coolant's at. For the compressor unit, pneumatic engine, brake controller, uh, maybe it's it's got to be in like the heating stuff. I think pneumatic stuff. No Gearbox control unit exhaust fuel lighting. I Don't even know what this stuff. Oh, that's fuses. Okay. I Really like the management system in here. Though. Okay. Okay, so we got one right here Okay, I'm just taking them oops uh, inventory Okay, I, I mean, I have I have the parts on me. Let's go see if we, this works here. We may be on to something. Okay. All right, give me my ratchet back. Also, you are so tall. I like to just stay crouched around. Okay, well, there is... <laughs> There's the uh, the cabin air filter. So, took me about 15 minutes ish to get the cabin air filter put back in. That was rough. Okay. Um, can I just drop this tool? If I, I wish I could just like instantly get rid of the tool. Oh, I need the spanner tool. Spanner. Close you. Close you. I hope I don't have. I hope I didn't take any things off there. I said I may have taken the gull wings off, which uh, I don't know. All right, close all those up. Close the engine service flap. Get these sides. All right, I I don't I really don't know. I'm just gonna chalk that up as a as a good job. Um, oh, I just gotta remove those from the spare part list. There we go. 
Oh, I get it now. Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, I understand that. So check. How do I? Is that, is that good? Is that job done? Cabin filter of the air condition needs to be replaced. I replaced it, didn't I? Now the question is, is... Oh, you're in points to unlock all these things. Okay. The question is, how do I... How do I send this bad boy off? How do I... How do I make that, uh... How do I call it? Sign off job. There we go. Alright. There we go. There is one job done. Sorry that was so confusing and... Absolutely everywhere guys. I actually had no no idea what I was doing. I'll be real with you guys. No clue idea um, I think I found out a couple of ways to like do things. It'll show you where the part is that needs to be replaced, which is Absolutely crucial if you know nothing of buses like I um, So let's see if that job worked 50 points correctly execute incomplete or incorrect execution. Let's ask okay nice you did all okay Operating fluids, overall condition, oh, I guess, sure, you know, yeah, I meant to do all those. Uh, 120 points we collected from that job. Okay, screen wash levels need to be checked and refilled if necessary. Okay, accept this job. Uh, it's kind of annoying that you got to watch the bus slide in and out every time. I mean, I assume this is a new bus, but I mean, it's going to probably look the exact same. So we need to change the screen wash area, which I think it's right around the back or right on the front. I saw a wash uh, fluid thing. So first, let's go here to the job list. View where this is at. Yep, right there on the front. Okay. So just uh, they just want me to check it, refill it if necessary. As they said, give me the spanner. Um, I mean, how do I get rid of the spanner? Water needs to be poured here. I mean, I don't really know what to do from here, though. How can I check how full it is? I don't really know how to check how full it is, but... They say they want water. I know where the water is. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, there we go. Got it on me. Oh, there you go. It was about halfway. I guess this is as easy as it is. Just filling it up. Sweet. Um, give me my spanner tool. Close you up. And I think, yeah, I gotta not hit that button so much. And I think washing it was to be checked if necessary. Check that state off. Let's run over here. Slap the door switch. Sign off on job. Okay, I gotta admit, this animation right here is probably gonna get old very, very, very quickly. Um, but. Not bad. While I wait for this to happen. Dun dun dun. Waiting, waiting. Okay. 25 points. New total points, 195. Okay, the urea add blue levels need to be checked and refilled if necessary. What? is that I have no idea what that is but I'm sure it'll tell me this is uh, taking quite a while come on I gotta admit that this, yeah it's, it takes a while okay let me outside no okay so then next up so where is this at? 
So urea add blue. This spot right here. We're by the heater, I think is where that is. Um no! Oh, I fell. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I can slide right under there. Nice. I wish you could set it so you're basically always in the running state because wow I am slow. Can I jump over this? Nope. Okay, so we need to go to the other side here. At least I thought it was this side. Was it this side? Yes. Urea service flap. Urea tank. So we have to fill it up with your urea. What is that? Hmm. Gearbox oil. <laughs> engine oil okay well I'm not sure where okay so this okay so I, I do like how it, it kind of tells you where all the oils and fluids are when you're selecting them so over here you got more engine oil what's up here more engine oil add blue urea solution there we go that's what it asked for you know what I'm starting to pick up on some some ways to do this guys so I guess this guy is just out and I need to refill it. I have no idea what this ad blue is or like the urea is meant to do in a like a diesel bus. I really I cannot tell you guys. I cannot tell you. All right. Close the service flap. I am picking up on a couple of things though. Oh wait, let me let me check the job first. All right, there we go. Um, have, okay, have you guys played this game? If you have, leave a comment down below if you guys know anything about this. I only have the trial here because I think that's all that's out right now. But if you guys have played this game and you know anything else about it, I'll leave a comment down below letting me know because I'm curious to know any tips or tricks or anything like that that you guys could or may know um, because obviously I'm a novice at this and I still have no clue what I'm doing. I'm starting to figure it out slowly after, you know, like three fluid refill missions, but... There we go, 270 points. So the tires on the rear axle need to be replaced. Okay, now we're starting to get to some uh, some bigger things here, replacing tires, okay. Um, but you know guys, I'm gonna stop the jobs here. We're gonna put it on pause until next video. Obviously, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing this until the trial's done pretty much. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. I really hope we'll be able to like take the turbo engine out, um, the turbo diesel out and like work on it and everything. If we could, that'd be really, really cool. But if you guys are liking this video so far, you're liking the series so far, leave a like and a comment down below uh, letting me know. I'm probably definitely going to continue doing this because I think there's a lot of potential. Honestly, the the shop and, like, the world in here, not even, like, the mechanics of the bus, but just, like, the shop and the world, it just, it's so incredibly cool. I mean, there is just so much more to this shop than there is in Car Mechanic and... I, yeah, I just love it. It's so incredibly cool. But if you guys like it as much as I do, leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in another one of these videos very, very, very soon.